you know, he's always on the road. He's gassed up, going all across the towns. And he came to visit you guys here in Dumas and met up with Bumblebee Smiles Pediatric Dentistry and learned what it means to them to be here in Dumas. I've been in this area my whole life, and I knew a little bit about Dumas because, uh, like you said, when you grew up, you played different uh, sports with all the surrounding areas, and I, I grew up out on the, you know, I was north of Amarillo and Potter County, and I was looking for a place that really needed uh, what I do. I was looking for a place that really needed pediatric dentistry. Uh, for many, many years, I've seen kids from far away that have driven long distances to get to primary care to get to pediatric dentistry and I wanted to go somewhere uh, where I could get a little closer to them and Dumas has such a vibrant economy they have some of the biggest employers around they have huge industry and they've got great people our goal is to maintain a focus on children our goal is to maintain a focus where we can offer primary care pediatric dentistry to all the kids in all of the areas around Dumas that need it. Uh, as we get busier, that may get harder, but we have a nice clinic, we have a nice practice, we have a large group of people working here. We should be able to service this area successfully. I really feel like we are somewhat of a pioneer in dentistry, just being a pediatric dentist, because we're sometimes the first experience the kid's ever gonna have. You know, we're, we're seeing kids for the first time and then you're gonna to go to the dentist your whole life but you first saw a pediatric dentist and everybody always remembers their kindergarten teacher or their or the, their first friend you know early on in school or they remember their first their first dentist when we opened there was really overwhelming support from uh, local business owners local uh, the Chamber of Commerce you know the Dumas Economic Development Corporation the local hospital everybody that is in Dumas seems to want Dumas to grow. They want Dumas to be able to offer, you know, the health care that a bigger city would offer its people. And so they're excited when they get opportunity to have primary care come to Dumas and they they give us good words. They give us good will. They're glad we're here and we're glad that they're glad we're here. And I'm joined now by uh, Carl Watson. You are with the Dumas Moore County Chamber of Commerce. So, to you, what makes the city of Dumas so special? Look behind you. The, the people of Dumas is what makes Dumas. I've I've lived all over the country, large towns, small towns. And this, this particular community, it, I, it has what I call the barn raising mentality. Remember in the old days when we were in the prairies and somebody had to have a barn brought up? Well, all the neighbors came and helped. That's what you got in this town. That's still the feeling, that's still the spirit of Dumas, Texas. All right, Carl, thank you so much. And you guys have been such amazing hosts. What does it mean for you guys to have News Channel 10 come out here with you guys? Well, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Uh, Y'all have been uh, gracious uh, all the way in. You've done a great job here. You're, you're really uh, have, have spread the good word about Dumas, Texas, and we're very thankful for it. And uh, you're certainly welcome to come back anytime. And something else I want to hit on, we were talking earlier about the local growth and the economic boom that's kind of happening with locally owned businesses. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, as uh, they, the, uh, the, the mayor pro tem said earlier, we've got so many things happening in Dumas, Texas right now. It's really, it, would, it would take a long time, at least a, a good 30-minute show to get into it. But we have uh, new businesses coming in. Our downtown is growing. Uh, we, we have uh, new businesses going in our industrial park. We have housing going in, uh, which we haven't had forever. So it's, uh, it's phenomenal. We're very excited about what's going on, and uh, it's, uh, it's only going to get better. Carl, thank you so much for your time. And I think now we're going to bring Dave in. You are uh, going to talk to somebody else. That's right. We have, uh, we're going to kind of shift gears a little bit. I've got uh, Marcel Fischbacher with us. And uh, Marcel, uh, you're from uh, AgriLife. And uh, tell us kind of the latest 
going on and happenings with, with AgriLife? Well, I've been with the uh, Moore County AgriLife Extension Service for 19 years now, but, you know, we do a lot of 4-H things. And actually, next week, uh, starting Monday, we'll have our Explore Camp for our uh, 4-H kids or our new 4-H kids we're hoping to get. It's from kindergartners to seventh grade. It'll be at the uh, Moore County Community Building. And it's evenings from 6 to 8.30, Monday and Tuesday. So we hope to have a lot of kids show up for that. Cost is $15. And if you're second grade and younger, you get to bring your parents with you. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. So uh, are these activities and programs uh, that are designed to grow kids in the field and, and equip them for you know future careers in the field? Yeah, we hope to. You know, we do a... We do some job uh, training things and some job education stuff in the fall and some stuff at the school. And we want to go that way. We do a lot of work with farmers. Like I said, you can help our farmers and ranchers by getting a little wetter forecast, bring a little <laughs> more rain, and that'll help everybody too. But, uh, but we do a lot of things like that. You know, we're doing some stuff with the, with the Climate Smart. Uh, uh, I guess it's part of the USDA uh, grants for that stuff, but trying to help yeah. some farmers do some other things and try to really move that away. We're behind a few other countries on some of the climate yeah. smart activities doing. So we wanted to move that that direction as well. Well, fantastic. Thank you for what you're doing to help the kids. And uh, hey. thanks for coming out here today. Thanks, Marcel. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to uh, take a break. We're going to take a break. I'm going to be back. Uh, we got another interview. And uh, we're going to see if we can fill that order for rain. That's all coming up.